And I know I already spoke on a situation like a well spoke on uh, perspective, if you will. And what it is mainly is this um uh, like and it's involving and it's related to persecution. And it's one thing I wanted like one thing on the table that I wanted to like pretty much differentiate, like in a way I wanted to like make you know, bring a better understanding on my personal disposition, you know, concerning a particular concept. And in this instance, in this segment, the concept going to be, okay, it's persecution. Now, I've spoken in the past, you know, to individuals, um, you know, about like to fan supporters, whoever care, you know, whoever listen, you know, those I love you and everything. But, uh, you know, regarding these things that I was faced with, you know, I wanted to like bring light on because it's okay. It's like, you know, I've spoken on the different levels of persecution. And how this season, like, yeah, you know, as the beginning of this year, from the beginning of this year on now, it's like the persecution had reached a different level. You know, I couldn't be sure if it's just the way life is or if it's, it was actually massive darkness. But whatever it is, the way it's implemented, it's not something promulgated. You know, it's not something that's taught about you know that's openly taught about to everybody you know so that's there's no formal teachings for it you know or anything of that nature so what i had perceived to be persecution you know um as of you know i know something that exhorts you you know um helps you you know it's not persecution you know it's all for good but you know it's one thing i wanted to clarify you know because given my like what what i've been conditioned you know um throughout all the years you know as far as like uh illumination and my general you know um understanding of what you know i've experienced you know and um what you know actions i've taken and you know as a result of those experiences you know like like a lot of things that i had went through you know, I use illumination, I spoke about it, you know, to inspire others and things I've been through. You know, so I got hit with a new wave of persecution, something that I was previously unprepared to face. And so I have to adjust and now I'm still going through that adjusting phase. But the way it is, like anybody who can I feel like anybody who care about these types of things, you know, anybody who do their homework, they can go back and, you know, history. Times other people um, testimony, you know, it's stuff that that's similar, you know, so they can pretty much connect or get a general understanding, you know, of the type of like the the immensity or you know, the gravity of the situation, you know, with um, heavily persecuting that, you know, as far as that, then it goes into the supernatural, it definitely does, it, it definitely stems into the supernatural, and you know, I'm a totally rational individual, you know, I'm a thinking man, you know, what I'm saying, I mean, um, I don't do nothing, you know, without a purpose, you know, unless you know, it's leisure, you know, leisure time or something. But in regards to spiritual warfare, you know, it's always real, it's always serious, you know. And I say that to say this, you know, when I when I illuminate and I speak truth on a you know situation, you know what I'm saying, like I I'm not for one I say my sanity is fine. You know, God preserved my mind all these years, one would think, you know, um, under any other circumstances, I feel like any other circumstances, then a person probably would lose it. But, you know, I've been with Jesus. I've been with the Lord the whole time, in spite of, you know. And God, he kept me, you know, kept me humble, aware, vigilant, understanding. Like, he, it was only God. I can't get, take no glory for anything. It was all God. It was all the Lord. And, you know, so my sanity, I'm, I'm not crazy, you know what I'm saying? But what it is is, given the nature of some of the persecutions I face and you know how it transformed recently you know a lot of if, if, if I didn't know or understand up until you know this year then I know a lot of others may not you know and some who do may have an interest that it don't be promulgated you know but don't be known but some of these methods uh, strat- say, I call it satanic strategies of persecution you know it's um it's done in a way to which is pretty much unperceivable to everybody else. And my problem is with that is I don't really care. You know, that's I feel like if it ain't if it ain't attacking me, it ain't my business. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, I don't feel like, but, but given how, it, you know, it can become, it's being used, like, to try to poison or condition my mind, you know, against God. Like, or, you know, like, try to condition my legacy, sabotage my legacy, life, everything. You know, it's still things just ever more snide and ever more cunningly. And when I'm to the point now, whereas I don't really care, like, who understands and who don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I've, I've, I've got thousands of quotes, poems, you know, from being misunderstood. I was being misunderstood to some that was committed to misunderstanding me. And so, you know, I clarified all that. I did everything I possibly could, you know, um, to shed light, illuminate darkness. And I'm still, you know, I'm not finished yet, you know, to got ready. So I'm, it's like, you know, I'm still on the scene with that, you know, speaking the truth as necessary as needed. But then to get to the point where, as, you know, when the more truth came out into the atmosphere, it started like going into a less, you know, like a less perceivable, or less blatantly, obviously, obvious, um, you know, methods and facets. You know, multifaceted still, but it like a lot of stuff, like it was more emphasis added on the covert, more of the covert um, strategies or satanic strategies to um, buffet the servant of the Lord, you know, to destroy the servant of the Lord, you know, um, in, in one way, you know, what I mean, one way or another uh, from, you know, mind, body and soul, everything a target, you know, what I'm saying I've been through all types of tactics in the past, both covert and overt, you know, that attack the mind, body and the soul, you know, so that's already happened before. But now, you know, it's like it's different because, it, I mean, I haven't, you know, I, I had no guidance, you know, other side from the Lord. You know, it's like what God teach you is like it's a hands on as you go type teaching. That's perfect. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying I'm mean, emphasis on the fact that I didn't, you know, I didn't have no nobody that on the side of me, you know what I'm saying, to tell me about this kind of stuff or to like, um, you know, I didn't have no list or nothing, you know, no guide pretty much. Or, I mean, of course, the Bible, but pretty much as you grow there's no shortcuts you know in spiritual warfare you grow you get older you learn and you persevere to the end and you know you please the lord you know that's how i go but you know like i was saying so now to the point where i you know i can't really sweat you know whether or not someone understand me or not that takes too much time and energy you know i put too much out there for it not to be understood you know so it's perfectly understood by anybody who perceive have a basic you know what i'm saying Understanding of, you know, for one, spiritual warfare. You know, might understand spiritual warfare and what it is, then it'll be easy. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to understand those types of things in their appropriate context. You know, it's like a puzzle. It only makes sense if it's together, you know what I'm saying? But if it's taken out of context or just a whole, ju you know, judge by a portion, then it's always, always not, you know, gonna make, you know, sense you know almost always so i mean it's gonna be twisted up and distorted because that's the nature that's what the devil wants to do anyway so something committed to misunderstanding that's gonna be easy you know it's easy to not you know know something it's easy to not know something you don't want to know you know it just depends on where you look and where you don't look you know so it's to the point now where as you know like i vow you know well i'm gonna say if i just I just pretty much, I got, like, the way my temperament is now, you know, when I illuminate, if I, you know, something happened in my life to where, you know, or just, just the spiritual warfare get to a point, or, or persecution-wise get to a point where, you know, I, I find it not robbery, you know, to, you know, illuminate, bring light on a situation, because I love the light, that's what I'm of, so I mean, I don't think I'm going to give any more explanations, you know what I'm saying? For the promotion of, of some of my heavy spiritual warfare um, content that I was going through and heavy spiritual warfare to, you know, the, uh, of creating some new material that's directed. Because I have tons of, of you know, inspiration from heaven that's in me, you know, that I, have, I haven't even touched on yet. You know, it's just a matter of what God desires, you know. And then I got evil, evil, heavy evils that just like shadow me 24-7 in like a manipulative kind of way. And, you know, I'm the kind of person where, you know, I, I'm outspoken about what's right and what's, you know, the truth, you know, regarding my reality, you know. It's not like I'm just a whistleblower, like, you know what I'm saying, trying to, like, control every part of society. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? I just speak on my life and things that, you know, like, things, that, you know, these things I've been subjected to that, that I shouldn't have had. Nobody should in the first place to begin with. Then, two, there's no basis for why I've been subjected to things. And then, three, you know, it's like... Even when it's proven, there's no logical explanation for it to still be present or continuing on my life. 
you know, in spite of, you know, with everything that's been already exposed. So it's like, it's like a it's declaration of war on me, you know, and, and, and really what it is, I mean, on me specifically, you know, like as an individual. So it's like, it's really a war declared on the Lord. Cause that's who I represent. That's who I've stood for and stood with, you know, all these years as an artist and as a brand. You know, which is reflected through backtracking. So, I mean, it's, it's over with, you know. And me knowing the nature of, you know, persecution tactics and things, you know, I've been going through a whole lot, years and years. And really what I noticed is what ain't happening is actually one of my quotes too, you know. Say, well, if it ain't happening now, then it's pretty much arranged for later. Cause that's how that's how the framing campaigns work, you know. It's, the, it's like it gives a certain perception of things like at a moment, you know what I'm saying, to normalize it or to distract from or whatever. Then later it picks back up. I learned that, you know, and it's brutal, it's ruthless. You know, it's the devil, and he hates the anointing that the vessels of God have it's for no logical reason, you know. And I've been through that, you know, a lot. And so I know the nature. So what ain't happening, you know, it's, it's, it be normalized. It frames that set in advance. Like if it ain't happening, it's for later. Things set up later. So like a lot of stuff just be nothing but a perpetuation or a facilitation of, of frames that's already set on the horizon you know what i'm saying for you to go into in advance they're already orchestrated either that or your destruction it's like a non-ending stop I mean, it's a non-ending attack because you know the devil know his time is short when you stand for god the devil go come for you and that's that's how it, that's what it is really in numerous ways and to get more sophisticated you know the um i guess the bigger your influence for god is i don't know i mean i just you know i couldn't compromise the lord and these are things that I had went through. I mean, purpose of this recording is to pretty much, you know, bring it like, okay, I can't, I can't be caught up on, you know, like pretty much to the point where you care, like who understand, who don't, you know what I'm saying? Because for one, I know how long things been going on. It's been going on for years. I can see if it, you know something like the whole situation was like a new. It's like okay. Okay, this guy might be overreacting a little bit, but after like five, six years, you know, of the similar type strategies, even worse in the past, you know what I'm saying, to now, you know, the same thing to, to find that it's somehow still present and perpetuating uh, traces of distortion campaigns or smear campaigns, or sometimes both. It's less smear now that more truth is out, but distortion can do what it wants anytime it wants. That's what it is. It's resilient. It's distortion. You know what I'm saying? They can have it like a great day. Looking at great day, um, it can be like a, you know outwardly a great day, peacefully, everything seem great. You know, and that's portrayed to the bystanders or ob observers that's watching a person. And then in that same day, you know what I'm saying? A little bit later, you can be a guy like you can get an attack on your life, like right there in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? You can get sniped. You can get. It's all kind of things that man, you can get attacked with spiritual weapons, and you know then, then they just like cover right back up, you know instantly. That's the kind of stuff I be under, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, attacks like that, like real attacks, like it should be, and it's crazy because like it's un, it's unreal, you know, it's unreal, like it's it's really like unreal. It's just you know Jesus real. Cause it's supernatural stuff involved. It definitely has been for years, and that's the kind of situation. That, it was worse back in the day, though. Like what I was going through all the time. So I mean, it's give me a you know a deal of trauma, you know. To you know that's 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 a horrific reality. And then those this, then the guilty are always there to say this ain't happening or this is not happening. You know where they, where they come from? You know it's, it's crazy. Like. Mm, you know, it's weird. But it's like, I feel like there's too much information in the atmosphere. You know, I made sure of it. Because, I mean, what, life or death? And yeah, that still wasn't even enough, you know? So it's like, there's no way possible, you know, for any of those evils, you know, given all, every, all, all, all things considered, there's no way possible for me to still be subjected to, you know, um, measures of, you know, antagonistic stalking and things like that you know it's, a, it's, it's, it's not only illegal but it's also unethical and immoral and it's disgusting you know like on so many levels you know 
So what it is is some that they have a position of power, they like they just like to attack the vulnerable, you know, what they perceive to be sheep, you know. Just because they can. And so they prey and bully on those that's less capable than they are. That's the definition of a coward. You know? And that's how it works. It's frustrating. I mean, it's aggravating, you know, because it's yeah. After years and years and years of never ending, you know, type of tactics and illumination, and yeah, it's unreal. It's crazy. But I just say, you know what I'm saying? I put my, my life is in God's hands. You know what I'm saying? That's my final word. You know, that's my final words. You know, like, I mean, pretty much like my life is in God's hands. You know, I live for God. I fought the good fight of faith for God up until this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing firm in my faith, you know what I'm saying, against this satanic evil that irrationally and without a cause has set itself against me in order to stop my influence for God because it's Antichrist. And whoever involved with the Antichrist too, regardless of what the words say, mouth say, you know, so actions speak louder than words, you know. I mean, one thing about God, he's not going to stop himself from doing anything. God is perfect. He don't make mistakes, you know. So, I mean, it's, it's crazy. God not going to be in the way of himself stopping anything. So, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's, insanity you know so it's antichrist and so i'm not afraid you know saying to 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 pass you know for jesus you know that's fine with me you know i don't have no fear and no evil because that's all that's in front of me is nothing but antichrist anything that's in my way and it's not like i'm doing anything like or trying to accomplish any kind of detrimental purposes or nothing i'm just a guy that's trying to live like everybody else in a normal society you know like everyday normal life there's no reason why my life was squeezed to such an extent, you know. Do the things that I have no control over. Or the fact that I have faith in the Lord. You know, that's all it could be, you know. By no fault of my own. But yeah, so that's how I'm, you know, that's how it's gonna be from this point. Like, I mean, I ain't really, I ain't worried about, you know, trying to like make anyone like understand. As much as I used to in the past, because I think you know it was very important. But then after it got to the point where you know my my words speak for themselves, you know, and then the Bible speak. The Bible is just the ultimate truth. You know, that's more. That's more than my words. More than every word, everything, every book. That's the best. Everything, you know. The word of God is is supreme. You know, reigns supreme. And so I just want you know. Like when I, as far as self-expression is, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I don't care about explaining why, you know, I'm expressing. If I feel like I have to, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's as simple as it's going to be. But if I ain't got no triggering things, then I ain't, you know, I ain't got no, it ain't no, it ain't necessary, you know? Well, so it's like, it's like a control thing. It's like something of Satan, Satan trying hard, like to control my influence for God. And it's conflicting because God is not, meant to be controlled god says in the word who he is god is the alpha and omega the beginning and the end you know what i'm saying he the, the creation don't you know put him in a box you know he created mankind you know what i'm saying it's a lot of stuff that's like mismatching like out of order it's crazy you know got to esteem god for who he is you know and i know every step i'm taking for it gonna be for the progression of the kingdom of god you know and that's that's undisputable that's what backtracking for it. I mean, it's just like the word of God, you know. If you would choose to read it, that don't mean it's wrong. Like somebody don't read it or somebody don't look at it, don't mean facts ain't there. You know, like it's there, you know. I mean, so that's um pretty much it, you know. I mean, I speak truth. You know, I been I had attempts to try to frame me a whole lot, hundreds of attempts throughout the years, hundreds of attempts, you know, and and through the power of God, you know, and just faith, you know, um, I, you know, it didn't work. It was over with. I mean, that's what that's what the backtracking for is there, you know. So I'm just backtrack, question anything. I don't frame nobody, you know what I'm saying, because I just bring facts. You know, I don't have enough time to sit there or have, you know, I don't find, I don't see a motive or a cause, you know, or, or a reason that, you know, or any benefit in trying to, like, frame somebody around my reality. You know what I'm saying? That's happened to me, but I don't do you know, I don't have the time for that, you know. Uh, even when I have time, you know, I still don't have the time for that, you know. So, I mean, that's that's, that's lower-level type thinking, you know. And I'm thinking, 
on the spiritual thing. That's what God told us to focus on. You know? So I mean, all I do is bring facts and speak truth. When I have to. You know? And it's just what I am. You know what I mean? But yeah, this um I man, I would actually I would consider this point right here in my life right now called recalibration. I used to um like anybody who been following me for a long time or follow pretty much not not following me, follow me, but like paying attention to my reality. For you know, even years ago all the way up to this now, they know I used to have like during times spiritual warfare, like God might have me at prophesy. He I know he done had me to prophesy like on um, social media and then you know that touch reach lives you know i mean a lot of people you know i've seen some transformations in their own life and they, you know all glory to god and everything but i had a moment where i do recalibration so anytime you know i had like an event or something that you know like just when i need to just strengthen back you know that i mean my bond with god is all is unbreakable anyway but like just like the, just to tighten that then I, it's called recalibration. It's just pretty much like a retreat of medita meditation. And then so I recalibrate. And then that's like putting all the scripture things back at front. Like I used to, like I post like oh, a lot of Proverbs and, you know, uh, Psalms and things that, you know, are my foundation anyway. You know, the word of God is always. So it's just like, it's just like returning back to your roots. I say recalibration. So it's like pretty much now I'm recalibrating. Like I, I ain't trying to please mankind. I'm trying to please the Lord. You know, so that's what I express. I express that I educate and taught those that was willing to hear. You know, willing to listen. You know, what I'm saying it wasn't my work ain't for everybody. You know, what I'm saying everybody not go feel it because everybody ain't been where I've been. You know, everybody don't know the Lord. You know, I know the Lord though. That's how I live. And I try to conduct myself 24-7. You know, it ain't easy. And you can't do it without faith, without the Lord. Nobody can be righteous. So, I mean, so I call this recalibration. You know, I'm just like, that's the way it is. You know what I mean? From this point on, because I'm tired of, like, that, that, that tension of having to, like, all right, Hey, they ain't gonna understand why I'm saying this, or they ain't gonna understand why I'm saying that. But it's definitely a reason. You know, I'm tired of that. You know, so I'm just, I'm just doing, doing me. You know, be me. Like when I feel like I am, you know, I ain't gonna give you know no permission. I, I, I care though, like about you know what. I care about those that um, you know, love me and uh, like as far as like as an artist, you know, far and wide. So. Like, I plan on God's will, you know, being, like, touching more on things that was more connected to my, um, like, my, um, my origins. As far as, like, you know, simple things, you know, the, the non persecutor you know, I, 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 I pray. Like, you know, I get to that, you know, but a lot. That's one of the reasons why the devil be attacking me, to keep me from being able to, like, explore the, or, or, or I already know, but, you know, show my fan base or audience is you know what more I'm capable of as an artist and a writer because you know that's not that's not all I'm about you know persecution spiritual warfare heavy stuff that's not that's all what life is but I mean it's more than my personality you know but it's antichrist system is like it, you know antichrist persecutors whatever just had like heavy on me you know and it's in interest you know um, in conflict, you know it's like in the interest of certain artists and it's just a mess, you know, but I'll be more clear on that the longer it, you know, targets me, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, I mean, until God get ready for me. Because I'm not the kind of person to lay down when I'm supposed to. You know, it's a situation where, you know, it's wrong. It's wrong from the beginning. It's proven wrong. And it's known wrong by the whole world. You know, it's what else can you do? You know what I'm saying? It's over with. And so this is the way I'm coming from this point on. You know what I'm saying? If I'm good and it's good, then ain't nobody, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no reason to say anything. But if I do, then I'm going to say it and I ain't going to have no remorse. And I'm through,